So the Green Bank Telescope um, is part of uh, surveys for new pulsars that I have been a part of, has discovered you know, some really fascinating systems for testing Einstein's theory of general relativity in, in really extreme environments, um, discovered the first uh, stellar triple system with a pulsar. So this is a pulsar, again, one of these sort of uh, astrophysical lighthouses that um, rotates with the precision of an atomic clock that's in a system with two other stars um, that are all sort of orbiting each other and gravitationally attracted to each other, um, which is a really cool physics laboratory. But one of the biggest projects that we're doing right now, as far as pulsars are concerned with the GBT, is a project called Nanograv, which is using pulsars um, to try and detect gravitational waves that are being emitted by the largest black holes in the universe. Um, so a pulsar is actually the remains of a dead star that was more massive than our sun, uh, but not massive enough to form a black hole. Uh, when that star explodes in supernova, it leaves behind a very, very dense core that's made almost entirely of neutrons, um, so subatomic particles that we find at the uh, center of atoms. And pulsars are some of the most uh, strongly, uh, have some of the strongest gravity of any object in the universe that isn't a black hole. Um, so if pulsars were just a little bit more massive and had a little bit stronger gravity, they would actually collapse to become a black hole. So they weigh about half a million times as much as the Earth. They spin up to as fast as a kitchen blender. They're only about as big as a large city. So the density is equivalent to having all 7 billion people on Earth squeezed into the size of a sugar cube. And they have the strongest magnetic fields um, in nature that we know about. And all of these things combine to make them uh, really extreme environments. Uh, there are conditions there that we could not recreate in a laboratory on the Earth. Uh, and we wouldn't want to because it would kill us. <laughs> so it's good that we have these tools out there in space and galaxy that we can use to study um, the most extreme physics in the universe with incredibly high precision um, because of this almost clock-like nature, the way they rotate um, and the pulses that we see from them in radio waves can be treated almost like the ticks of a clock. Um, but they're extremely, extremely accurate clocks, almost as accurate as an atomic clock. So the gravity around pulsars is so strong that we often really have to uh, take into account the predictions of Einstein's theory of general relativity and the effects of general relativity. So we can use pulsars to test whether or not Einstein's predictions are accurate. And so far, they've always passed every test that we've put them through. 